All right, guys. So my last video did. <laughs> All right, this hat is on a rock, by the way. Swagapito, bro. I can't take you seriously. All right, guys. So my last video did pretty well, and it was like a pickups video. I said I hate making these types of videos, but obviously it does well. This is my friend Hui, the Sean Parker vibe I was telling you about. He knows a lot more about fashion than I do, so I'm gonna let him show his pickups for this month. All right, let's get to it. All right, yeah. So I got this. It's like '70s Letterman. This shit's way too small for me. I fucking had a like an attack. So I ripped the inside out because I was fucking frustrated. It smells like shit. If you buy vintage 70s, 80s, don't put them in the washing machine. Just dry clean it. It's not worth your time. But got this 1990s. Honestly, this has a pretty ass no one of one. If you can find this Patagonia jacket right here online and send me the link, I'll buy it off of you right now. But I cannot find any details on this. This is a fucking, some kind of women's shell jacket so it's got a good fit no logos on the front minimalist vibes it's purple it's got like a little tint to it warm keeps you warm it's 850 on the website if you want it but so fuck ruben cone because <laughs> capitalism but we got this fucking kermit the frog grinch cardigan right here this hoe got fucking moths in it we got holes in it brand is right here yeah, fits nice, kind of crop. A little tight on me, but can't wash it because there's gonna be more holes. Like that's all the outerwear I'm gonna. But I wanted to out. show off my new pickups. I got this fucking sick Seattle Supersonic snapback, too dark. And I wear it unironically. This is how I wear it in public. Just flex the jaw. It's hard, bro. Shit. It's a big hat. Look at like Swag Pino, you know. So like whenever I'm at the club and shit, I just you know, dude, I'm getting kind of chunk, bro. Yeah. Fuck. You know, basic Kenajima pickup. <laughs> I don't like Kenajima. If you're watching this, Vujie is a fucking ripoff of Helmet Lang. Fuck Vujie. Ken, um, you're a fucking scammer. You do have good taste in denim, so basic 501 pickup. Beautiful wash. This shit, mm, this shit, like, explore page core, fuego joe, corny type <laughs> wash, bro. Release <laughs> hems, because I'm also fucking corny. Those are actually clean. Those though. are clean, though. I got these, like, so, I don't even know, bro. It's brown print, so it's gotta mean something. I know brown print's like kind of a big deal when it comes to Levi's, but a good wash. You know, it's got that little Squid Game ink type shit. Good knee distressing from like, I think the previous owner probably like worked at a glory hole or some shit. <laughs> you know, Shorty was sucking dick. Like she was doing her job cause she got this blowout hole and then. Another pair of Levi's. These are also 501s. Newer pair, whole tab. Even the tearaway is like intact. Dude, so I think these are pretty young. Not like anything crazy. Oh, Wash is still solid. Should... Slim, 501, pretty sure. basic I, fit. I know, it's actually really, really yeah, studded bell. Got it from Spirit Halloween, you know. So spiders. Closet in Sacramento, California is like this big archive. Not like archive, but like he has a vintage archive. But like these are beautiful. They're too big. They're silver tabs. He hooked me up with a steel, but like pretty good quality. He goes to, I don't know where he gets it. I'm not gonna say. Pretty cool. They're kind of big. They're really long on me. But yeah, silver tabs, I think 50s, 60s. Could be wrong. Probably, I know it's before 80s. I know for sure. And then, you know, I have to hit up Amazon. You know, fuck Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, if you're watching this, you're a fucking bitch. Treat your workers like shit, actually. Yeah, so I got these Wrangler Ranchers from Prime. They came in two weeks, which is longer than I expected for Prime. So fuck Jeff Bezos once again. Fuck Kenajima, bro. Fujide, corny as fuck. Copy of paste. Wrangler Ranchers, like the most explore page pants I own. Good flare. Really tight on the leg. I don't wash these. I let them kind of marinate in my sweat to sweat, uh, stretch a little. And then, I mean, if you know, you know. It was on a budget. You see the cummerbund. It's not mainline. These are the Dark Shadow Creech Cargos. So these are fake Raf Simmons Spring Summer 03 consumed bondage pants. And I got scammed on Yahoo auctions, but super sick. Like looking back on it, I should have fucking known, but I thought I was getting a steal. Still a cool pair of pants. They have all the the bondage on this side, especially in the middle, like uh, like a Vujide. So fuck Vujide. You can you can say you're inspired by a design. It comes to a point where when you say you're inspired by something, you're not actually inspired. You're just copying fake rap pants. So I guess I don't have an opinion, but all right, camera died. I forgot what I was talking about. I guess we'll do shoes. Hey, pass the comb phone, bro. I want to talk about them. I technically, did pick them up. This piece of shit right here. Um, I think this is like. My favorite shoe that I've come across just because of all the laundromats and the perks that go on in this like I mean, it's a really uncomfortable shoe unless you're like 
a narrow footed, curly hair, grease hair, unsound rags, Hispanic man who's like 6'1. But when you're Asian like me and Dylan, you have wide feet. Bro, shout out Penny Hardaway. And let these bitches know with their all black foams from 2009 that they some broke bitches. If you really want them for under retail, go to StockX. StockX has these for like 485. I know retail is like, what, 520? So I paid 501 after shipping and everything. You know, fuck StockX. Go, go. StockX is a bad company. Sometimes they be sending you fake shit, but, um, all right, yeah, we'll do shoes right now. So we'll start it off. I got these cowboy boots. I go to a pretty cowboy school. These are probably my most comfortable shoes. They have kind of a square toe. This is the the main thing, you know, YSL, wide boot type shit, but I don't like the wide boot because I just think it doesn't look good on me. Pretty good pickup, smells like dead animals, and I like beef. We're gonna go from that to pretty BS hiccup. I got a Ramon. You know, a lot of people got my ass in this shit, especially fucking Dylan's bitch ass, even though he bought fucking uh, New Balances for no, I'm not gonna say who, but if you know, you know. He also bought fucking pee pee poo poo Yeezy slides for her, too. Anyway, I'm not gonna shit on his Christmas gift. I got Ramon, so he's got the same shit on me. I got a basic shoe. This is the Autumn Winter 18 Sisyphus Ramon. Relatively new Ramon. It's not like the older ones with the staple because, you know, money's tight. I don't have time to go on Yahoo Japan like that. I don't have time to go to... They're all right. Like, not my favorite shoe, but it's like, it's like a classic shoe. It's like an Air Jordan 1 if you didn't talk to girls and you stand in the corner at parties on your phone, looking at your photos or just swiping through your lock screen type shoe. Got the Rick inside. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, pretty good. Smells like cow. Pretty chungus shoe. Kind of had to heal my inner child from high school and grab a pair of 750s. The triple black colorway. I never liked the gray. I never liked the chocolate. I never liked the glow in the dark. It's just like a black shoe. It's just like a black boot. Like I told Dylan a while ago, like this shoe was going to come back. It never did. It has boots, so it's relatively comfortable. I don't know. This was just like a, like a cool winter shoe for me. I could never wear this with shorts. If I do though, probably wear them with like an one shack shorts. But yeah, 750s. I'm not gonna cut the strap off. Don't ride Kanye like that. I don't buy a fucking. Oh, really? <laughs> that was good comedic timing. I wouldn't say this is like streetwear. This is a bench shoe for gripping the floor. I got Feyus. These aren't the real Feyus. These are the French Feyus from the commercial brand. Grips to any traction you have. So if you're a powerlifter, Sean Noriega talks about these a lot. These are the French ones, not the actual Chinese ones. I recommend getting the Chinese ones. You can get the Lutai ones. I think parkour people buy these. So use those for bench. 